we're checking out the only game where myths are simply elaborate ways of making me die. It's GTA. So we busted a lot of myths in part one and part two, and now I think people are just coming up with stuff to see if I can even remotely attempt to complete it while not going insane. Also, to get the board creators Alex and Danny in on this, they both suggested a myth, and apparently the one from Alex is just impossible. Let's do this. Okay, so eight seconds in, and we're already getting our... <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked, random jet! Anyway, as I was saying, we're getting our Star Wars in here. This says you can't fly a commercial airplane through a canyon under both bridges. Now, I assume, oh my god, that they specifically chose a commercial plane because driving this thing is like attempting to fly a washing machine with wings on it. This is the type of thing where you ask what its turn radius is, and it's literally in miles. All right, so... Go under the bridge, and then you have to go through the canyon. Well, luckily the bridge is just wide enough to get me through without dying. There's under the bridge. Oh my god! <laughs> I want to let you know too, like, we're, we're full up on passengers right now. Listen, it's so hard to get a flight anywhere with the pilot shortage and everything that they just let me do this for a living! Oh god! Okay, here comes the second bridge. Come on, baby. Oh, this is happening. Wham! Ah, oh, no! Come on! Okay. I gotta get through without blowing up. So, I pretty much know what my bank radius is for this thing. The only problem- Oh my god! The only problem is that when you start slowing down, it can't do anything. Like, I can't- Gain altitude, I can't bank, I can't do very much, but I can't go full speed because I won't have enough time to actually make the turns in that friggin' river! So, don't touch the tree. There we go, I managed- Oh, no! oh that's my, uh, it's my less fortunate brethren just laying in the water there. I'm sure the beavers will turn those into, I don't know, fantastic wildlife refuge homes. And just don't catch yourself on the right now, Gray, and we can have- there we go on to the next one. Okay, this one is fairly ridiculous and it's from Danny. He says you can't land a plane on top of a moving train. So I've I've landed a moving gray on top of a train, so it can't be that much different. The problem is understanding how much speed I need to not have to land it. Because basically, as usual, I'm gonna try and do my stall. I need to figure out where I want to actually put this plane to. Oh, the ground came up a lot faster than I thought it would. I kind of want to go into one of, you know, the bathtub looking carts. These ones right here. But I also... Ow! I was gonna say, I kind of want to land on the head cart too. From that... From that first explosion, this might actually be a lot more difficult than I thought. It, like, the plane blows up very easily if it just even touches the train. Get ready. Get re Oh, yeah. Oh, right on the- well... Man, I don't know. I can definitely slow down enough to let the train go- yeah, right there. Oh, God! Okay, I've got it lined up. Oh, no! <laughs> There's a tunnel coming up. Are you serious right now? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Right before the tunnel, too! How about that? Next myth! This one says you can't jump a motorbike through the wagons of a moving train and survive. Uh, hmm. Well, I can survive, but getting through that is gonna be kinda tough. I kinda need to figure out what, like, how big of a jump I need in order to get through the like this should work right here. All right, I've been messing around. This is definitely the best place to jump it. Huh? Or not. Okay, we're going to start from a higher point. I think this will work. Ready? And ow. Um, all right, with more speed I can definitely do it. In case you're wondering, it has to be through the tiny cart opening, not like the big cart opening. Hey, Get off my golf course! If you know it, you know it. Here we go. This looks good. Arrgh. Oh, hey. Memories. We're doing this. I've got everything lined up. All the timing is prepared. Train's going by. Not yet. Put on the helmet. Make sure it's the yellow helmet. Because that's good luck. And... I hate my 
myself. I swear to God, I will do this all day if I have to. How many more times do I have to kill that guy? This challenge won't make me go insane. Do you know why? It's because I lack sanity. That's why, so... Oh. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Next myth. This says... Oh my God. <laughs> that you can't fly a jet under every bridge in the Los Santos River. So... Okay, these bridges don't look that bad. The first bridge was pretty bad. I feel like I'm like in the Terminator circa 1991 or something. Ah! Okay, that bridge was actually really short. That one's not too bad. And now I'm upside down, so basically I'm screwed. So glad my ejection seat worked. Okay, I think I understand. Uh, I was gonna say, I think I understand where the, the difficulty comes in. Uh, the fact that I did so well in the beginning is really concerning now. Okay, how many bridges are there? First one, second one, so far so good. I just need to stay like super, well, not too low. This one's good, right, oh God. Right in the middle, gaining a little bit too much speed. Uh, you gotta kind of feather the throttle, but also feather the altitude. There we go, okay. So far, so good. Oh yeah, this is a What is this? What? Oh, thank God. Oh God. I got really concerned until I <laughs> No. I can feel my fairy godmother being like, Gray, remember your training. What training? I haven't been trained to do anything except take abuse. <laughs> and I've become very good at it. All right, we're doing this with some speed because I keep, I because I keep flopping into the water because, oh, you know what? Huh, um, yeah, whatever, we'll fly upside down. I just have to, oh God, I have to remember that everything's backwards. Oh, hey, whoa, come on. I feel like this could have been part of a movie for sure. I feel like I've flown under a lot more bridges. Okay, and speed is good. Yes. <sighs> Thank God. You know what? Whatever. I, I'm, I'm doing the barrel roll now. The barrel roll is absolutely working out fantastically. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the thing. Oh, I've got the pat. Uh, hey, ejection seat. Are we, are we not friends anymore? Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a floating butterfly. Yes, I'm an agile bumblebee as I go through the things that exist for no other reason than to rip the wings off of my plane and then allow me to barbecue alive inside of the metallic coffin that is the cockpit on this freaking jet. Slight bank over to the right. Now, normally what I like to do right after, not yet, right, I'm alive. Right after this is to do a full barrel roll, but honestly, if we, mm, we don't need it, we don't need it. I, I came out the back. That was the last bridge. <laughs> On to the next one. Okay. Oop. This says you can't fly the ruiner across the entire map using the parachute without touching the ground. So, I, I don't know. This, this seems like it would take an obscenely long time, but I'm going to give it a shot. Time out for just a second. I just wanted to let everyone know I am still floating. I have been doing this for seven full minutes. Time in. 11 minutes in. I, I don't know if this is possible. I'm not that far away. Hold on, hold on, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. <sighs> okay, hold on, I, I can definitely do this. Back to the beginning. About halfway through my flight and I feel a lot better about this one. I'm definitely higher than I was last time. Oh, we're past the beach. 100% this is totally happening. Oh, oh I'm at the very end. I wanna, I wanna just barely get to the water. Just barely get to the water. We got it! <laughs> yeah! Next myth. This is absurd. This says you can't do a backflip. Oh, wow. 
You can't do a backflip on a motorcycle and land on a moving train. Believe in the power of violence. I was nowhere near the train. Okay, there's no train right now. I'm just doing practice to make sure, because this is where I want to do it at. Oh yeah, I can land this. In case you're wondering how long it takes the train to get into a position where I can actually use it, it's roughly one cup ramen noodles. That is not enough jump. You know what's bad with the question is how elaborate of an item can Gray cook while waiting for this thing to get into the right position? This, this is, I got it. No! Okay, I can do this. Give me my bike back. Come on, baby. I just need to land it and not hit a wall. Ooh. Oh, that was a half flip. And yeet it! No! What was that? Don't you leave me, train. Train, don't you leave me. Yeah, pull, pull. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Next me! This says you can't carry yourself over a canyon in a truck using a using a gravity gun. Excuse me. Well, just seeing if gravity affects her as well. Sure does. Okay, so we're gonna get in the bed and I'm gonna do this from the tail. And the reason why, hold on, let me see if I can get it so that I can actually see where I'm going. There. See, now we can see everything. So I don't have the front of the cab in the way. Oh yeah, this is, um, this is actually pretty therapeutic. I feel like a, uh, I feel like an X-Man, only my power usually ends up getting me murdered every 10 seconds. But, watch this, I'm gonna get this right on the road. You ready? You ready? And... Touchdown! Oh God, touchdown! And real fast, because I know someone would mention, well, Gray, you were going down. You know, could you actually do it going upward and land back where you started on the canyon? Yeah, here, watch. You ready for this? Oh, right on the pathway. Actually, hold on. <laughs> Change of plans, potential murder insight. Boop. And just because I can, <laughs> on to the next myth. Okay, this is Alex's. He says you cannot skydive through the D in Vinewood and survive. So you have to, oh my God. I, can you die on those things? Okay, so something I just noticed is there's like all these slats in the D. I never really looked. Yep. You can legitimately die from those. There's another gigantic issue here too. Even if I get past those slats, I have to pull my parachute or I'll just die from hitting the ground because I can't, hold on. I can't gain altitude, man. I'm not gonna lie, if Alex says it can't be done, I kind of think maybe it can't be. Oh, that blood spatter's gonna be there for a while. All right, I'm gonna lean back. I want, I want like a, Man, I was gonna say, I want like a straighter shot in instead of downward. Oh, oh no. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I can't even get past the slats to pull my parachute. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. And, oh. I'm a lot thinner now because most of my ribs have currently been removed from my body. Uh, low? This has gotta be possible. Oh, okay. So I can make it through. I just need to learn like exactly when I can pull my parachute. Alex, why? That was weird. Alex, you have forsaken me. Ooh. I, I need to think about this for a minute. Okay, no joke. I have now flown into this D about a hundred times. I am, however, wait for it. Okay, I can get through the D almost every time. The problem is pulling the parachute. I don't care how many times it takes. I don't care how many times it takes. Okay, I'm starting to care. Agony, guide me. Okay, you gotta use your groin and pop it. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh, yes. This is a very common one I get. It says you can't skydive into the turbine of a commercial plane and have it fly away with you without dying. I, okay. The amount of times that this has been suggested to me is very concerning. I feel like everyone just wants to see me get sucked into a jet engine. 
I'm getting close to the jet. I got hit by the tail. This is unbelievably difficult. Uh, let me kiss your engine. <laughs> Please. That was even closer. Okay, I think part of the problem is I'm pulling my parachute. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and pull the parachute like as late as humanly possible. So I won't actually be parachuting into the wind turbine. I just need it to kind of slow me. That was really good. Just like my wind turbines, the turbine of a plane is delicious. Deliciously mind destroying. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. Ah, my knees. We don't need knees. Where? Where? Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Man, the boss did it. It's perfect. Well, I busted myths and I ended up inside of a jet engine. Seems legit. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay boxy, much love.